Hello, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. We are we're in Freeside. There's a there's a gunfight going on over there somewhere. Not our concern though. I think I think in Freeside there's always a gunfight going on somewhere. Keeps these guys in business. But we are here at the silver, the silver rush. We've got a bag full of caps, and we're we're gonna we're gonna come in and just spend all our money, buy um, a load of fancy weaponry. We want some EC packs, maybe a new plasma defender. We want some E cells, and maybe something that uses microfusion, or maybe let's see how far. Our money goes. My volume's a bit so let me turn my volume down. I'm shouting a little bit, I feel like. Um Yeah, so our two guns use E cells and E C packs. I might buy a new plasma defender though. Get a, a, a gun a GRA one. So let's go. Do I need to speak to you again? Hello. Welcome to the Silver Rush. New Vegas' best source of laser and plasma weapons. What does it just happen? I'm afraid I'm going to have to search you. Yeah, go ahead. It should only take a moment. There, I've stored all of your weapons. You clear to enter. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. I think at first Molly really didn't like hand handing over her weapons, but now after dealing with these guys a little bit, I think she appreciates the professional business that they run. Though it is intimidating coming in here, isn't it? Oof. Stay away from him, he's... He's quite mean. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Um... Ooh, we could get work here. That would be exciting. But let's, let's do... Let's do our business first. Of course. Weapons. Okay. Got flame. We've got lots of things which could clean me out straight away. Got one of those. A multi plas rifle. Don't know what that does. I don't know what 14.2 times 3 damage means. Does that mean it shoots three? Yeah, it probably uses like three cells at a time. Like, ah, oh, a gun, a GRA plasma defender would just use all of our money. I'm not, I'm not as rich as I thought. Well, I do have some stuff I can sell as well. All right, all right, that helps a little bit. Um, I can sell some of these mentats. That's probably it, isn't it? I can get rid of some of this whiskey. For scotch, anyway. Um... Okay, that, does, that doesn't get me much. Okay, what can we buy? A plasma rifle. Should I just get a, a straight-up plasma rifle? Maybe. I'd like maybe... I'm, I want something I can mod. So that's the tri-beam laser rifle. That I can't even afford it. Oh, wow. The gun... The GRA weapons are... Um, they're expensive. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I want a gorse rifle. What does that do? That uses microfusion cells. Only five shots and you have to reload. Is that like a snipery kind of thing? 
41. There's a lot to I don't know. Oh my god. If I want a gorse rifle, I feel like that's calling out to me. Multiplaz rifle? Sounds cool. I'm gonna get a gorse rifle. I think that's kind of long range. I've got a pistol, then I've got this, um, I've got like a, a rapid fire gun and this long range thing. Okay. Ammo box, microfusion cell, bulk. That is bulk ammunition. It's like worse quality or something. Might still be worth it. I want to get loads of ammo. Plasma Weapon Mag Accelerator. What does that go on? Any plasma weapon? Tesla Cannon. It's a Tesla Cannon. Let's get all this bulk ammo. Maybe not all of it. On EC packs. And um What's the what's the other What does the plasma defender use? Just E cell, right? Which you don't sell? You don't sell E cells, okay. Well, let's leave it at. Well. Ah! A laser recycler on a laser RCW. Now that's. I have a, a laser RCW. Yeah. That would be useful. Yeah, it saves a quarter of my shots. I'm going to try and buy that and see, see how I can make this work. How much do I get in an ammo box? I don't know. There you go, I can afford that. Yeah, that is all my money. Bit skint now, but I'm confident that... Oh, I was going to buy some bombs and stuff. Oh well. Let's see if there's any work to be had here. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? So wondering if there's any work available. We're a bit short on caps now. It just so happens a position opened up recently. We currently need another body to guard the entrance outside. Think you can handle that? Sure. Sure, I didn't really want to do it right now. But we are low on caps and I don't want to... Uh, 
Yeah, sure. We've got we've got the evening free. I was just going to go to the Atomic Wrangler anyway. Wonderful. I already have a man outside who can show you the ropes and get you set up. His name is Simon. He's been with the family for years, so listen to what he says and follow his instructions. Okay. All right, we've got um, got a job. It sounds a bit like it might be a bit boring for Marley, but we'll try it out being as we're here. And we're going to go to the strip at some point. I've got my equipment back now, right? So, how does the bulk ammo work? Um, do I have to, like, use it in here? Ah, here we go. It's bulk stuff. There, there it is. So I don't have anything for my plasma defender. That's a bit annoying. I'll have pistol on one, gorse rifle on three, these RCW on two. That, that is a that's a gun. Welcome to the Sylve. Ah, oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. How did you know? You can always tell a rookie. You look too eager. Get the job a few hours, and the shine will come right off. You'll be covering the other side of the door there. Take your position while I get your stuff out. Good. Look around and get a feel for where customers and risks can enter and exit the area. I get your gear ready. I guess people could come from this alley over here. Or that building by there. Okay, now let's get you geared up. First, your armor. Standard issue is your run-of-the-mill combat armor. With a nice dark coat of paint for both brand recognition and sheer intimidation bag. Next, your weapon. Guards are required to use rifles. Anything lighter compromises your combat effectiveness. Anything heavier and people are too scared to come in the door. What's your preference, laser or plasma? What's the difference? Lasers have a high rate of fire, but not a lot of stopping power. Plasma, on the other hand, is slow as a mule, but with a kick to match. So, what'll it be? Plasma. Nothing wrong with going plasma. Just make sure you hit what you're aiming at. Now that you're equipped, a quick word on the job at hand. In a nutshell, we're here to keep the riffraff away. Drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. Potential customers are to be permitted normal entrance. That is, after we pat them down for weapons. An unarmed man is a lot less likely to try to steal something with several armed guards around. Don't start any fights. I don't care if some jet junkie just insulted your mother. We're here to promote violence elsewhere, not start it here. Lastly, don't abandon your post. We're getting paid to stand next to this door, not talk to someone down the street or head to the casino. That goes double for any thoughts of splitting with that gear. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff property. Trust me, the rifle and armor are nice, but they're not worth your life. Other than that, relax. Who knows? You might attract a high roller from the Wrangler over there and never have to pull a gig like this again. All right. I might wear it. Yes, okay, I'm wearing that. And Van Graaff Plasma Rifle. Okay. Settle in. You've got some hours left before your shift ends. Hmm. Kind of have somewhere to be tonight. Here comes a winner. I'll let you handle this.
Hi there. Is this where I can pick up a laser gun? Um. Uh, I think Mo Molly's taking this very seriously. Sorry, sir, but I can't let you in. Company policy. Sounds like a stupid policy to me. Good. Stick to the rules. Another one coming. You're on. I don't like. I don't like this alley down here. What's this dude? He looks a bit more wealthy. Stick to my post. Uh, hi. I was uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look at your weapons. Can I go in? Uh, we're going to have to search you first. Fine by me. He's clean. See? Not so hard, is it? No, this is easy. Heads up. Looks like we got another customer. What? This guy. Oh, I don't like him. I don't trust him at all. He's wearing a hat. That's a malicious walk. I don't like how they all just walk straight at me. Howdy. I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? Um, okay. Certainly, sir. We need to pat you down for weapons first. Now, hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? No. In a word, no. If that's the case, then I guess I'll go spend my money elsewhere. Wow. You're a real people person, aren't you? Looks like that guy's headed this way. Don't screw it up. Molly, did Molly do something wrong then? Was she too rude? Try and be nicer to the next guy. Where, where is he? Oh, this guy. NCR. What's our policy on NCR? Is he NCR? No, he looks like, um... No, he looks like a, a wasteland trader or something. Prospector, maybe. Hmm. Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? Uh, sorry, we're going to have to search you first. That's not really necessary, is it? I already told you I got this here revolver, right? It's, um... It's company policy. Are you going to let us search you, or what? Damn, I knew this wasn't going to work. Hey! <laughs> what in the hell do you suppose that was about? A revenge note. Help me clean this up. No one's going to want to shop here with the corpse out front. Hey, what happened to the note? Crap. This I do not need today. Keep your head straight, bro. Damn, I think the quick loot thing um, messed that up then, didn't it? Because I meant to, it probably triggered to clean him up once I had exited looting him. And I quick looted, so it just triggered the thing. Oh dear. Revenge note. Just saw something about revenge. like you've got a little helper today. What can I say? Business has been good lately. You can afford to help. Good to hear, buddy. So is the boss lady in? You know she is. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run. But do pass along that I'm always thinking of her. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire tell her. You'll do that for me, won't you? I'll be sure to pass it along. 
That's a good dog. Well, I'm out of here. Later, Simon. Way to keep your head, rookie. Let's hope for you yet. What the hell was that about? It's just about closing time. Let's go see the boss about getting paid. Oh, I'm gonna need the rifle and armor back. The boss's orders. Oh, yes! Oh, this gun's amazing. Oh, I'm naked. Just whaps the clothes off my back. I basically dress like one of them anyway. We're watching you closely. Hey, I can come in here with my weapons now. Simon's been telling me how it went. Let's do a quick recap. You had a little bit of a hard time following instructions, but didn't do too bad overall. Here's your pay. Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience, and he'll take over the position starting tomorrow. However, another task has come up that I could use some help with, assuming you're still interested in making some money. Oh, I just got hired and then fired and then hired again. Keep talking. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? I'm, I'm not a delivery boy. I'm a delivery girl. I'll do it. Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. Alright. Trying to work out what don't dawdle and don't rush means. I think it means we, we have a day to sort our stuff out here. Where's Where's the package going then? Not far. Not far, okay. Alright, looking good. I saw that the guy um, who rushed the door We're watching you closely. had, um, along with the revenge notes, he had some C4. And I'm a bit gutted I didn't get to pick that up. Oh well. Well, it's morning. We're a bit thirsty, a bit hungry, not too tired. Well, a bit tired, but we'll be alright. Have some of our gecko steaks. Do with a bit more water. The after shift cigarette. Although I'm sure we could smoke on the job. Alright, freeside in the day. What do we have left to do? Well, we need to deliver this package. If I want more work as well, there's um, the Crimson Caravan, which I do want to do. That sounds like a, a, a job. That... Come to the Silver Rush for all your energy weapon needs. I'm glad I'm not doing that job. But yeah, I think we're well suited to work for the Crimson Caravan. But all of that can wait for a minute while we head to the... I think we need to go to the, the tops. And find this Benny character. It's been a it's been a long time coming. It's a lot of places. A lot of places boarded up. Looks like the liquor store's open. I like these buildings. I 
I know, um, I knew Obsidian had a lot of problems technically with, um, free side when making this game, I think. It used to be all open. It was designed to be completely, like, a big, sprawling open area. And performance issues made them have to, kind of, section it off. I can imagine without, um, the limitations of the technology, how cool this would be with markets everywhere and, kind of, a bit more of a bustling vibe. But I do quite like how it's... Oh, it's kind of barren. Quite like the atmosphere down here. I enjoyed that walk. So this is the strip. This is one location we haven't been yet, but there's also, there was like north side or something. There was another little area that I didn't go to, which I wouldn't mind checking out at some point. Who's this fellow? You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Um, why wouldn't I want to go past the greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Oh, okay. Thanks for the free advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. Alright, what's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. A courier? I used to be a courier before I got shot in the head. <laughs> exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. Um... Butcher. So, no, that doesn't interest us. You said escort? Like, like an armed guard? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. So you, uh, so you got paid for sex? Yep. I was damn good at my job, too. But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, crier, we've seen the crier. Gun, so you, but you were gun for hire at some point. When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. Well, a decade being a gun for hire, and then you got to retire. Well, that sounds like, then, to Molly, the sensible career path. Thanks for your advice. All right. Goodbye. Yep. Hey, did he just run past the greeter? Whoa. You have been warned. Extermination. Well, there we go. I would have learnt that lesson anyway. Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the gate. Trespassers will be shot. Credit check? What's that for? Admission to the strip requires an official passport or proof that you are carrying the required minimum balance. These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering and ensure a good time will be had by all who enter the strip. Um. Damn it. Um. I don't have 2,000 caps. Uh. Robot, let me pass. Please submit to a credit check or present a passport. How do I get a passport? Please return when you have sufficient caps or passport. So, th so Victor is not unique. There's lots of these robots. I wonder if he's one of them. If he's here somewhere. 
I have 200, I need 10 times the caps to get in. I did, did have that many caps about five hours ago. All right, let's, um, let's take, what was his name? Whatever, let's take this fellow's advice and, um, we're not going to be a butcher or town crier or an escort. We'll be a gun for hire. We have, we have the guns. We've got a few opportunities. Well, I tell you what, we can go out, deliver this package and... Where's the Crimson Caravan? There we go. Yeah, we can deliver this package and get work at the Crimson Caravan. Ah, and what's the northern... North Vegas Square. I think that's the other part that I didn't explore. All right. I'm happy to do a a couple of jobs and explore a bit more of Freeside. I feel like there's a lot I haven't seen. That guy who visited us last night, his name began with a P. I can't remember. It's like Paulie or something. Was he one of the kings? It seemed like he was channeling their style, so maybe. There is a way to... No, there's not. No, there's not. I have to go up here, don't I? We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. That's Mick and Ralph's. Well, I don't... I, I'm not looking to spend any money at the moment. I love this gun. Oh, I can hold my breath. Does this use five bullets at a time? Might be might be a bit overkill for many circumstances. It's cool though. Dixon. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. What are you selling? Have a look, baby. Dixon's whiskey is just worse than normal whiskey. Dixon's jet. It's worse than normal jet, but at least it's cheaper. Alright, goodbye. Yep. Taking this package this way, I can follow the uh, follow the compass for this. Wonder if you can get up on there. 
Uh, I really want to get up on one of those. Oh, another job I can do today is go back to that little stash in that building, wherever that was, somewhere up here. And, um... And take all of the junk and mail it to Prim. I'll, I'll do that today at some point. Nice, we're back out in the desert. We're going this way. is taking me. To this guy. Are you the Van Graff's emissary? I am. Do you have what we requested? What am I delivering? I didn't even check what I'm delivering. Where's the payment? I wasn't informed there was to be an exchange on my part. What are you talking about? Uh. Oh, shh. Was he meant to pay me? <laughs> was he meant to pay me? I thought I was just delivering something. What were you informed of? That you would have something for me. Now do you or not? No, I was just meant to deliver something. She didn't say collect payment. She said this could be something big and be a big payout. Yeah, okay. It's right here. Ah, huh. then our business is concluded. Tell your superiors that we will contact them shortly. Okay, good. Okay, good. Let's check. Let's be a bit more careful next time. Make sure I know exactly what I'm meant to do. Strange man. Fire over here. Well, this is quite a a convenient little campsite. It's a raider camp. Can I make mods? Ah, I can do standard to GRA and back and forth. Damn, I could have done that before. Cool. I bought a mod that I haven't tried yet. Laser recycler on there. Uh, 
Um, ooh, an auto inject stim pack. Automatic use at 50% health. With some sensor modules. Um, cosmic knife. Clean. So I need to get a cosmic knife and I can clean it with some Abraxo cleaner. Cookery to metal. I don't know what, I don't know what that does. Gas bomb. What does a gas bomb do? Duct tape, pilot lights, crap, I can make them. Oh, there's loads of new things here. That's all the mods. Plasma grenade. Pulse grenade. Pulse grenade, good against robots and power armor. That's cool. Time bomb. Cool, okay. Um, just wanted to recap on the things I can make. It'll be a while until I'm using any of that stuff, though. Oh my god! Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Gotta get out of here. Gotta lose them in the buildings. Oh my god. Help! Oh my... Jesus! NCR. It's the NCR. I gotta get out of here. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure who's gonna win that fight. Bloody the Nightkin again! What are they doing out here? Who won? That a raider. Are the raiders working with them? Are the night kin part of raiders? Circle round. Are you attacking me? You've gained the animal control perk. Oh shit. Ah, ah, ah. Need to lay a trap. Oh shit. There are two of them. Maybe this 
going around this corner as well. Come on. You've gained the Lord Death perk. I think he just blew up. Perks. Animal control. You handle animals really well when they are dead and gain damage gain damage bonus against the living ones. Okay, cool. Lord Death. You gain a damage bonus against everything because you like killing everything. Well, I kind of feel like I was forced to then. I think the Nightkin just left. I think they just killed everyone and left. A fiend. We heard about the fiends. Crippled head. Use the doctor's bag. I think I wouldn't mind swapping out this gun for just a normal rifle rather than a, a rapid fire gun because I was, I was just spraying bullets and I wasted so much ammo. I feel like just a standard might just get a um like a plasma rifle or something right, there's definitely one of those super mutants still alive though I saw him walking away so I think I got ambushed by maybe the the nightkin and then ran through a fiend hideout or something or they were working together I'm not I'm just not sure. No, there are now dead people everywhere. God, everyone's just dead. Works out for us, though. I wonder if I can loot the uh, caravan itself. Jesus, look at that sword. Ban Aviators Ultra Gold. Ah, oh, here we go. NCR Bandolier. Not, not, not much exciting stuff they've got on there. And this is the food one. I guess this is the main shipment. Well, lesson learned. Be careful. Be careful when you're exploring seemingly abandoned outposts. Could be an ambush. Oh, the clinic. One of these days I'll save up enough to get out of here. 
one of these Keep days. an eye out for trouble. They could have used you outside a minute ago. I think, oh, that woman who was in here, she ran in here, didn't she? I saw her go in through the door in the fight. That's cool. Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. What? What kind of implants do you have? I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities, make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. Wow, I, I want to buy an implant. One other thing I forgot to mention. Your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. I'll be alright. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? We're healthy. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like these boost my, my 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 main stats, make me luckier. I'd like to regenerate. I'd like to. I, oh, how much for the subdermal implant? That would be the Nemian subdermal armor. It's a bit pricey, eight thousand caps. But the implant causes your skin cells to be bolstered with iron. It won't make you bulletproof, but it will make you a little harder to injure. Right, I don't have the caps right now. That's all right. Which surge? And the regenerating one? That's the Phoenix Monocyte Breeder. The implant speeds up cell regeneration, an effect similar to that of some lizards and sea creatures. The implant is very expensive, however. 12,000 caps. Okay. That's all right. Right, I am wounded. I just used the doctor's bag and like three stim packs. Some of these lacerations are. Doesn't cost much, though, does it? All right, sit. Seventy-five. Oh, God. Okay, really exciting stuff. I didn't know there were implants on this game. I very much want... I think I'm going to try and go for the subdermal one. And then maybe try and get some stats up. Maybe strength or... I don't know. We'll have a think. Anyway, let's. we're heading back to New Vegas, but via the Crimson Caravan. Let's see what kind of work they have for us here. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm looking for work. I'm afraid we have no current openings for caravanners or guards, but I am in need of a runner. Yeah, perfect. I'll um, I'll take it. What do I need to do? Deliver this invoice to Dr. Hildern. You can find him somewhere inside Camp McCarran. Invoice to Camp McCarran. All right. It's been a pleasure. Dr. Hilden at Camp McCarran. Where's Camp McCarran? Down here. So I probably need to go around to the south. Well, let's do that first. Before I go back into town. Hey. Look at the carnage. So, if this... Uh, where's this door? Where? 
Yeah, this is the door I just came out of, isn't it? I can't remember. I get very confused with entering and exit, exit, exiting three sides. Yeah, this is the door I came out. So Camp McCarran must be down here somewhere. Sounds like it must be an NCR thing. Here's the gun runners. Evening. I don't handle buying and selling for the gun runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. Uh, oh, right, okay, so you work for the gun runners? For around five years now. I handle the supply end of things, raw materials and stuff. So, who are the gun runners? Makers of the finest high grade weapons and ammunition in the wasteland. If you ever get your hands on a piece of sweet, deadly hardware, there's a good chance that it came from one of our factories. Alright, who's in charge of the gun runners? Out here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths, and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the gun runners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. Cool. Later. So it's kind of like a... It's no one really in charge, they just, it's just kind of a... They've got a factory somewhere, and they make loads of guns. Okay. Molly's not impressed with them. They don't have the structure and organization that the Silver Rush do. Could maybe rob their factory one day, though. Maybe if I see him again, I'll ask for a tour and see uh, if he can tell us where it is, and we'll go there and, and rob the place. Ah, oh, this looks like it could be it. I don't know. These are this is a farm. These are farms. Greenhouse, oh, greenhouse. Let's have a look. Don't know what I was expecting. And look, I look at this. Is this kind of like detailed to like the, the structure of how the place works? So I, I, they can do this on New Vegas because it's centralized on like such a on Vegas, but that's such a small area that they can surround it with all this stuff, which makes like it um, the whole infrastructure of the area like really believable. You know, they've got like this massive farm out here, and they've got the how do they get the water from the lake, and the pipe goes straight through the farm on its way into the into the city. Super cool. And seeing all of this makes you really understand why controlling Hoover Dam is so important. Because whoever controls the dam, whoever controls the water supply, whoever controls this pipe, controls Vegas. So are all of these greenhouses? Yeah. Let's have a look in another one. Oh, look at that, it like sways in the wind. Civilizing Prim will show what we can do for everyone else in these territories. It's good to hear that Prim has accepted our law. Look, everyone's so 
impressed with what's going on at Prim. What's this place then? Is this it? This is all very heavily NCR territory, isn't it? Camp McCarran. Karen Field. This is a serious NCR operation, isn't it? Who are we looking for? Uh, Dr. Hilden. I'm looking for the medical tent. Do I need to, like, check in or anything? Prim will show what we can do for everyone. I know, else in I know, I know. Some tents hey. in here. Hey. Let's try and find a medical one. That's just a. Uh, uh, Sounds like we're running Prim now. I'd still prim. rather take my leave of the strip. More of an office, maybe. It's a food tent or something. I don't know. Ah, this looks like it could be it. Or maybe not. Storage, maybe. Engineering. Who are you? Good to see a friend of our government. Molly's a friend of the NCR, I suppose she is. Without really trying. Aha, this must be it. Uh, this is it, but looks like the doctor's not here. It is, it is evening. Where would he sleep? This way. Yeah, we're going in here, I think. Terminal building. Was this place an airport? Maybe it was an airport, and then it was a casino, and then it was bombed. Hmm. 
Maybe this doctor has a room upstairs. this go sounds like we're running prim now I'd still rather take my leave at the strip what does my map say to do it says to go right by there He's either above me or below me. I'm not sure if I can go up. Let's try it down first. And there might even be a basement or something as well. Evening. Angela Williams? God, I would never have found him without following the map marker. Mr. Hilden, I have an invoice for you. A pleasure to meet you. I'm Dr. Thomas Hildern, Director of Operations, OSI East. I presume you're here about Vault 22? Um, no, I, I'm sticking to the job, actually. I have an invoice for you from Alice McLafferty. From Alice. I'll see that she's paid right away. Crimson Caravan runs a tight operation. Even out here in the waste, wouldn't do to keep them waiting. Was there anything else? Or were you just here about the invoice? Um. You mentioned Vault 22. I might be willing to help. We are looking for work, I suppose. Need to make 2,000 caps. Wonderful. Straight to it, then. Have you signed the release forms? No? Doesn't matter. We'll keep that to ourselves. Vault 22. Where to begin? Um, I'm listening. Imagine, if you will, the wasteland in bloom. Vast fields of corn that grow from seeds and produce their bounty in the space of a month. Orchards of trees, their branches weighed halfway to the ground, hung with fat ripe oranges, a harvest that could feed a city or a nation. And all of this, all this, requiring no more than a few drops of precious water and the efforts of only a handful of human farmers. Impossible? Yes. <laughs> yes, I'd say so. A realist. We have that in common. A year ago, I'd have said the same. But what if I was to tell you that the wasteland can yield an endless bounty and that the secret may lie a mere few miles from where we stand. We need only reach out and take it, and for that I need you. Um, hmm, tell me more. Good. I thought I sensed the kindred soul in you, beneath the wasteland veneer. I believe that the inhabitants of Vault 22 unlock the secrets of vegetative growth. Plants are spilling from their gate. No one tends them. No one waters them. Yet they multiply and spread in all directions. Find the reason for this miraculous growth, and I promise you the OSI will see that you are generously compensated. All right. That sounds... That sounds good. I'll do it. Good. No need to check in with the NCR authorities. I can authorize your payment from OSI accounts. Vaults typically contain a server room on a lower level, where they would have backed up their research data. A computer room, you understand? Yes. Download all the information on the central server to your Pip-Boy, and you'll be certain to bring me any notes or samples that you find, won't you? Okay, yeah, anything else I should know? I thought it was a fairly straightforward assignment. It's a simple question of retrieving the data, which shouldn't prove overly challenging. Downloading the data will be handled by your Pip-Boy, you might think of yourself as a mere means of conveyance. Uh, no insult intended, of course. 
No, Molly thinks of herself as a means of conveyance. So, yeah, that's fine. Um, I had some other questions, though. Oh? What might those be? Tell me more about the OSI. I've never heard of that before. The Office of Science and Industry. Oh. It's a rather expensive topic. I could talk for hours, but I'm sure I'd bore you. Suffice to say, we are the leading edge of the NCR. Our work focuses on practical matters. Medicine, engineering, biology. The dam, for instance. OSI roots its energy supply to our cities in the West. That's only one responsibility of this office. You'd think their office would be, you know, they might have like replastered the walls or something in here. But, um... Cool, this is all really interesting stuff. Uh, so you're the director of the OSI. Director of the entire OSI? Me? If I didn't know better, I'd say you were trying to plant seditious ideas in my head. <laughs> ha ha, Molly lost No, along. I direct our eastern operations. I've been responsible for squeezing unprecedented levels of power from the dam. I'm also confronting the problem of food production in what little spare time I have. But I've found some promising leads. Uh, and you're doing all of these things by yourself? Yes, with the assistance of my team, of course. Um, yeah, so the NCR has a food shortage. I just walked through the farms. They seem pretty big. Are there greenhouses and stuff? Is that your doing? Not yet, but our government understands the value of proactive thought. Our studies project an imbalance between production and consumption. Or, for a layman such as yourself, hey. not enough food, too many mouths to feed. Mass starvation in a decade or so. Um, what else, what other responsibilities does this office have? We aid some programs the Republic has sponsored involving sharecropper farms in the area. But those haven't panned out too well from what I hear. There have been complaints about the amount of water we're supplying. But those are just excuses for lack of diligence, I'm sure. So do you control the dam from here? Directly? No. But we attempt to maximize its output. You have no idea how difficult it is to provide power to an entire nation. I also have high hopes for our Helios 1 facility. Oh. Unfortunately, I can't say the same for the two scientists who are working there. So far, they've only managed to achieve 1% power output. I'd send help if I could spare the personnel. That's so the Helios, what we heard of that back at Novak. It was near Novak. And um, I didn't know what it was. So it's some kind of power station. Okay, what do you think of the NCR's chances against the Legion? To be frank, I have no idea. I leave the fighting to Colonel Shu, and I expect him to leave the science to me. Too many people have opinions on things they know nothing about. And the more ignorant they are, the more opinions they have. Very true. Very true, Thomas. All right. Pleasure talking to you. Goodbye. Yes, goodbye. Okay, we've got some more work. The work is just rolling in. But we're gonna need we're gonna need it because we are We are a bit skint. Did Dr. Hildern this really isn't any of my business, but did he give you a job? Um Yes. He asked me to get some data from Vault 22. He didn't say to not mention it to anyone. I shouldn't say anything. I know that. But you're not the first person Hildern sent out to the vault. There were a lot of mercs. One after another. None of them came back. Then about a week ago, there was a scientist, Keeley. She's unusual. Not the sort of person you'd expect. But she's an absolute genius. And, and he didn't mention her? Not even her name? Or any of the other mercs? No, Hilden didn't mention anyone else. But now he's hired you, which means one of two things. Either he heard back from Keeley and she failed, or he's given up on her. Listen, I make a fair wage, but I'm not rich, not by any means. Maybe my kind of money wouldn't appeal to your average merc. 
but I'm willing to pay you if you'll find Keeley and make sure she's safe. In right leaving her out there. No idea if she's alive or dead. Okay. Okay. And any any little helps? We we need the caps right now. I'll look for her. I had a good feeling about you. Moment you walked in. I mean it. I have some questions though. I'm a bit worried about um this Vault 22 now. Of course. Anything. I can't ask her about Vault 22. That's what I wanted to ask about. Can you tell me anything else about Keeley? Keeley's brilliant. An absolute genius. She plays at being mean, but it's all a front. When you've lived as long as she has, you get defensive around new people. Who wants to make a friend when you know you'll outlive them? Oh, she's a ghoul. That's all right. We, we like ghouls. How old is she? I couldn't get her to say, but she talked about the war. The Great War, when the bombs fell, like she'd been there. So, I'm guessing pretty old. 200 years? Maybe more. Okay, how do Keely and Hilden get along? No, Molly wouldn't ask that. Um, what's your role here? Head researcher. Mostly on the dam project, but I help out on other things when they need me. Gotta be flexible. Okay. Um... Yeah, thanks for the thanks for the second job. Uh, I'll be going out. Bye. Right. Stay safe. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to think maybe this the Vault Twenty Two thing. I should make sure I'm well prepared for. If he sent loads of mercs there, none of them have returned, and this um, this ghoul scientist has gone there, and she hasn't returned either. So um, yeah, we'll we'll. We'll prepare as much as we can before doing that. But I'm I'm out of time for today. Probably well over time, actually. Oh well, let's uh, let's sit down by here. So next time we will. I can't can't sit down. Let's sit in the sit in the corner by here. Next time we'll just um, we'll turn in the two jobs we've done, go back to uh, the Crimson Caravan, we've done the invoice, and head back to the Silver Rush and tell them that we've delivered the package and see if there's any other work. I'll probably focus on those two, but I'll leave Vault 22 for a little bit until um, I maybe made a bit more money and maybe pair a little bit more. I don't know, we'll see what other work is available. Anyway. That's all I've got time for today, so thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, bye!